So we've got Heather, the screenwriter of What to Expect When You're Expecting Here. Heather, say hi. Hello. Uh, tell us a bit about adapting this to uh, from a non-fiction book to a fictional play or movie. Well, it was at once sort of liberating and terrifying because there's really no story there other than just the great story of people having babies, which is the most universal story of all. Um, but it was kind of liberating because you could do anything. It was really pretty open. Um, but we realized we wanted to kind of create a love actually sort of feeling with lots of different experiences because that's the one common denominator among, you know, pregnancy is there is no one universal truth. Uh, how much did you draw from your personal life and from your friends and family for this? A lot. I, I was nine months pregnant actually when I sold the pitch, so I waddled all over town and <laughs> sold well, it. So it was very deep in my bones, shall we say. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, any particularly difficult parts to adapt? Um, I think just trying to balance honoring the, the difficult nature of being pregnant and also to not shed a negative light on it. I think it was kind of finding that balance. That was what was your favorite part of the script? Um, my favorite characters to write were uh, Wendy uh, the woman who owns the Breast Choice who goes insane. She was a blast to write because I think it's a very relatable character that you expect pregnancy to go one way and it completely deviates. I think the women out there, this will be an easy sell, but for the men out there, why should they go see this film? Because they don't, when you get pregnant, you don't go through it alone. I mean, there is a partner and we really wanted to honor uh, the guy's contribution and to honor the fears that men bring to this as well and to have fun with that and not just create a chick flick that only women are going to want to go see. And I think you did a great job with the with the dudes group. Tell us a bit more about them. The dudes group is, is a lot of fun and I, I just think gives voice to, you know, all the crazy fears that men have. <laughs> Seeing their woman get turned into a hormonal raging nightmare. Excellent. All right, you've probably been asked the same question a dozen times here tonight. What's the one question you haven't been asked that you wished you were? Oh, this is my first question anyone's asked me. No one wants to talk to the writer. They're all screaming for some star. Well, we'd love to talk to the person behind the film. So you have carte blanche to say whatever you'd like. No pressure. What is no one asked me that they? I wish that they would ask me. Um, I don't know. That's, what, what can we expect next from you? Uh, I would love to sell my pitch that's out, and I have a script that I'm writing, I would love to sell. <laughs> Excellent. All right, Heather, thank you for your time. Thank you.